Good morning, everybody. Jingwa, Walla Walla Bayan. My name is Clarence. I'm a Bunjilan fella. And I've just said, g'day. And how are you all? Hopefully you're as well as can be expected in these crazy and very complicated times that we're living in. But fear not, we're still here in Australia. We're still happening and we still have this beautiful, beautiful landscape that uh, you know, when you know, things change a little bit, hopefully you'll be able to come and visit. But today, from the comfort of your home, you're going to be able to enjoy some really interesting live streaming. You might be able to crave your wanderlust a little bit. You'll be able to do some personal training with Chris Hemsworth's personal trainers up there in my home country of Bunjilung in Byron Bay. You might even be able to do a bit of prop wrangling. So, you know, we've got Matt Wright. He's this really crazy prop guy. You'll be able to check out what he gets up to. You might even be able to learn the secrets of barbecues with one of... Uh, my favorite chefs, a young guy by the name of Hayden Quinn. Now, there's a lot of things you can do. You might even get front row seats at the Penguin Parade down at Phillip Island. You may even be able to go and do a bit of diving on the Great Barrier Reef, all from the comfort of your own couch. So, or I think they say sofa in some places. I'm not sure. But here in Australia, we have this unbelievable country. But it's made up of hundreds of different First Nations countries, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. As I said, I'm a Bunjilung fella. If I were to say hello to you, I'd say Jingawa. If you go to right up into the Daintree and the Gupe Yalanji, they might say Yalada. If you go up and visit the Yongnu mob, they might say to you Namirani, how are you? They're right across this country, to west and Broome, down south into Tassie, the great Australian bite around South Australia and Victoria. There are Aboriginal people just wanting to embrace you and show you a little bit about our culture. But it's not one culture, it is many. And in many cultures, we like to welcome you to country. We like to welcome you to enjoy and feel the spirit of this place, the spirit of our country, and what is the oldest living culture on the planet. It is an ancient land, just so, so beautiful. From the beaches to the outback, to the sunset over Uluru that you'll be able to enjoy live streaming today with Tourism Australia and all of the beautiful people, all of the tourism operators who are just biding their time waiting so we can share what we have here in this beautiful, beautiful country. And as I said, we have hundreds of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander language groups. We all enjoy our connection to our own little piece of this country. And through that connection, we can welcome you to our own country we can acknowledge the other ancestors who share all of the different places and all of the different dreaming stories that relate to this absolutely magnificent country. You can enjoy these experiences with people like Auntie Margaret Campbell. We can go to all sorts of different places. The Walker Brothers up north, they can take you out on country, hunting, catching crabs, and eating beautiful seafood. Over into Broome, Western Australia, and of course, beautiful Kakadu. If you get a chance, hopefully, in, when things start to settle down, we really need to look after each other. We need to look after this beautiful country, this beautiful planet. And let's try and do as much as we can to help each other out, to help out our Mother Earth, and to really enjoy our time with our family. But just think about when we can get out there, try and get out and visit so many places maybe locally to start with, but then you know, we're going to give you a little bit of a taste of what Australia is really like. Here in beautiful Wadi Wadi country, I acknowledge the ancestors of the Tharawal and all of the East Coast. We've got Virupai, we've got all of the different nations from Ewan in the South, all the way up into my country of Bunjilung in the far north coast of New South Wales, and then right up to the Cape and into the Torres Strait Islands. So to all First Nations people, not only here in Australia, but everywhere. I know we've got people watching in from Canada to our beautiful First Nations people in Canada and North America, South America, to everybody in this beautiful, beautiful planet that we live on. I say to you, Jingwa, Walwalobaya. Hello, and I hope you're all well. And just to finish off, to acknowledge the ancestors of this place, we use in this country ochre, and it comes from the earth and it reconnects us to the earth. 
and it shows that we have respect for our Earth Mother and for all of the organisms, not just the human beings, but all of the life forces, all of the living organisms that call this place home. We have a responsibility to each other all over. So this is a song to acknowledge those people, to welcome everybody, wherever you are, to this beautiful country. And we say, in the local language here, in, this, in and around Sydney, we're going to say words to the effect that we gather today to remember yesterday so that we can move forward into the future. And the song goes a little bit like this. Enjoy everything that we're going to show you today. Take care. Peace and love.